There we go. Okay, here we go. Part two of the auto reversing linear actuator. Um, if you remember from part one, uh, the linear actuator was made to move forward and backwards using a couple of relays and a couple of limit switches. Um, the first relay over here is the latching relay, and that's triggered by this limit switch. And then that turns this relay on, which sets the voltage in one direction. The slide moves in that direction. Um, when the switch is triggered, it unlatches. When this switch is triggered, it unlatches this relay, and that reverses the polarity here, causing the thing to move in the other direction. What we have to do for the next time, which is this time, is um, add the speed control so we can slow the thing down a bit so you can see what's going on. And then a counter. This counter is triggered by one of the limit switches. And when the counter increments to the preset value, in this case it's 5, the system stops. So let's see it in action. go and then we simply reset the counter to start it all over again excellent that proves the concept of creating motion um, purely electromechanical by first principles using discrete components no PLC no software and hence, no software validations for the medical device industry and FDA.